Okay, I'm going to show you how to use my glass slice effects. I call it glass slice, so you drop it on your clip. The parameters over here give you a few options. You have mask position, which is the position of the glass slice itself. I can move it up or down just by dragging it up or down here, you know, up or down, whatever I want it to do. Kind of center it right there on my cat. Um, mask scale right here, I can go ahead and make it bigger or smaller. I'll do something about that size there. I have image position, so inside here I can shift the image up and down inside here. I want to make sure I get her right there. I have image scale. By default, I've put a little bit of a scale on here. Uh, if you go up a little bit, it gets a little bit nicer, you get a little bigger image here. Uh, you do have an image rotation, so if I wanted to rotate this, I can. And then obviously you can shift it around X and Y here again, image position to position it where you want. I might shift it a little bit. Um, I do have a drop shadow, which is by default. You can kind of see it here. I can go ahead and change the uh, drop shadow opacity. It's just a straight slice. But I think the drop shadow adds a little bit. You can adjust the blur. Uh, right now I currently have the distance speed zero and blur, so it does blur on both sides. I change the blur down, put the distance up. You can see it's definitely going towards one side. Uh, so it's up to you to decide how you want to do it. But just a little bit sometimes works good. You can change the color of that to any color you want. I'll make it say red. And in this case I have blue. I'll do a little bit of a blue glow. Right there. You also have obviously drop shadow opacity. You know how see through is it? You know, dark or a little bit light. I'll do something like that. Uh, and you also have the drop shadow angle. Obviously, right now it doesn't matter because the distance is zero. But if I push that distance up, I can swing that drop shadow around. In this case, it's just kind of flipping back and forth between the two. Put the distance back at zero. Play back the effect, and there's your glass slice. Now. I was originally going to make it so you can actually have multiple masks and you can have multiple ones, but I realized you could just stick a different slice on it on top. And I have the second one again. And I'll just go change my mask position. I'm going to change my mask scale to be a little bit smaller here. And I'll position it above, up there. And again, it can rotate its scale at everything. So you can add multiple versions of this. Um, I didn't do a vertical one, but if someone wants that, I definitely can do that.